Hi. In this video, I would like to talk about Eric Erikson uh, theory, uh, particularly his theory about human personality. Eric Erikson is one of the most important psychologists. He wrote very important uh, works, uh, particularly uh, Childhood and Society, and uh, the other two important books, they are about two important persons. The first one is uh, he wrote a very important uh, study about Gandhi, Gandhi's truth, uh, and he wrote also another important book, about another important man, who is Martin Luther. Uh, Martin Luther's uh, the book about Martin Luther has been called uh, Young Man uh, Luther. Of course, Eric Erikson uh, had been influenced by psychoanalysis, by Freud's idea, but uh, he has his own ideas, he has his own concept regarding human personality. Uh, fundamentally, uh, Eric Erikson thinks that all life is important. Therefore, he he doesn't just believe that the early years of childhood uh, or first five years is just important. He thinks that whole stage of life, childhood, adolescence, youth, middle age, and uh, elderly age, all these stages, all these years are important. That is why he developed a lifespan approach. Uh, in the theory of Erikson, the key concept is ego. How can we develop our ego? But in the theory of Freud, it is not ego, but it is uh, it is important. So Erikson <laughs> tried to explore the importance of it in our uh, personality development. Of course, Freud's theory fundamentally is biologically oriented theory. Uh, Erikson, yes, of course, he accepts that biological instincts and drives are important, but at the same time, he believes that probably cultural and historical factors are more, more important than biological factors. Freud talks about psychosexual developments, but Erikson talks about psychosocial stages. He thinks that there are five, sorry, there are eight stages. Uh, throughout life and he called uh, these stages psycho-social uh, stages. The first one is these stages cover whole life span and uh, in every stage 
we are facing a challenge we are facing a crisis we have to know how to cope with this crisis so we have to have capacity or ability to cope with this crisis in a healthy way but of course some people respond to this crisis or they could achieve to adopt themselves to this crisis or mal adopt themselves to this crisis <laughs> so in every stage when people face this crisis at the same time individual uh, have some strengths through these strengths uh, individual have chance to overcome this crisis and to pass any stage the first stage Erikson is talking about is oral sensory stage in this stage basically it is the first year of our life uh, at this stage uh, human individual is in a state of helpless, helplessness the infant in this stage basically entirely dependent on their mother or other uh, caregiver so in this stage the fundamental activity of individual uh, is centered around uh, mouth so in infancy stage children are, go are facing the dilemma of uh, trust and mis versus mistrust if children uh, have enough ability or the feeling of trust satisfied uh, enough they could adopt this period in a healthy adaptive way but, but if they develop the feeling of maladaptive, adaptive they will develop uh, maladaptive, maladaptive way of coping but in this stage children have basic strength which is hope they think they hope that they will solve this crisis hope in this stage basically they think that their desire will be satisfied there could be some ups and downs in this stage to some failures but infants believe that they could go uh, one uh, step further the other stage is second stage is muscular anal stage muscular anal stage covers the first and third years of life in this stage children are facing the crisis of autonomy doubt and shame Uh, the most important things I mean uh, children in this stage they want to do uh, things in themselves they want freedom uh, 
So, they want to behave a sort of in an autonomous way. So, the challenge or the crisis in this stage is about autonomy versus dark tension. If the need for autonomy satisfied, they could adopt themselves in a more healthy way. If they don't have enough autonomy from other people, probably uh, shame and doubt uh, will prevalent in their life. But in this stage, in muscular uh, anal stage, children has basic strength, which is will. Uh, children will in this stage means children have power to determine their freedom of choice uh, when they face uh, demands from society and people from around them. The third stage which Erickson is talking about is the locomotor genital stage. This stage uh, is covering between age 3 and 5. Uh, in this stage, children's mental and physical ability constantly developing and children uh, in this stage uh, they want to do things more in their own way they want to achieve something they want to achieve more uh, therefore they start to initiate their behavior many many new behaviors many new uh, many new attempts in order to think small so in this stage the basic crisis is initiative versus guilt if children achieve what they want to do in this stage they are satisfying their need for initiative, but if they, if they fail in this stage, they are developing the feelings of guilt. But in this stage, children have a very important strength, which is purpose. Children say, yes, we want to initiate this, but at the same time, because they think that they have a purpose. So, purpose as the basic strength gives uh, courage, gives vision uh, to pursue uh, higher goals uh, for children. And the fourth uh, stage is latency stage. In latency stage covers age 6 and 11. In this stage, uh, adaptive and maladaptive ways consist of, of industrious versus inferiority. Uh, so, children in this stage, they are very hard working. They, they are aiming to work in order to get a better results. Uh, but children, uh, especially in this stage, children technological ability particularly 
Delta naught or Delta naught. This is important. Uh, so children, but the most important thing, children focus all their attention, all their efforts on a business or on something or particular way of behavior just in order to achieve stuff. This is very important point, but uh, if they don't achieve what they want to do, they could develop inferiority situation. So in this stage, the reaction of parents and teachers uh, are important. The parents and children, uh, parents and teachers, they must encourage children uh, in their work. They might, they show confidence. They show, they must show approval. They must show positive support. In this stage, yes, it is the stage of working very hard to proving yourself. That is why in this stage children need a basic strength which is competence. So competence means or involves the practicing of all skills and intelligence in order to pursue and complete new tasks. So now, so far, we talked about four uh, stages. The main aspect of these four stages, uh, children need help from outside in order to achieve uh, the crisis uh, challenges of every stage. But now uh, Erickson talks about another four stages. He said in the in this second part of these four stages. Uh, individual actually don't need help too much from outside. Children start to uh, start uh, in this uh, in this later four stages. Human individual become more dependent on himself or herself. So, the fifth stage basically probably the fifth stage is the most important stage in the theory of Erickson because uh, in the fifth stage it is adolescence stage adolescence stage cover between 12 and 8. So in this stage, the most important challenge human individual is facing, what is the challenge? Is ego identity. Individual try to uh, integrate, integrate their idea about themselves, what they are and what they are going to be. So this is the greatest challenge, according to Erickson, human individual is facing. Of course, if individual face, sorry, if individual for identity, for
for themselves. This stage can be passed successfully, but if individual don't fail to achieve an ego identity for themselves, they will face a very difficult situation, which is identity crisis. So, identity crisis probably is the most important concept. Eric Erikson explained. So, uh, one way or another, Erikson talks about, uh, or he thinks that, one way or another, individual must achieve an ego identity. Because having an identity is the source of everything. Yes, this achieving an identity is a very difficult task, but in this stage, I mean, if individual in this stage, adolescent stage, don't ha have identity cohesion and goes between identity cohesion and role confusion, he couldn't solve the identity crisis. But in this stage, he has a basic strength, which is fidelity. Uh, individual thinks that fidelity means they have sincerity and genu genuity, genuineness, and a sense of deep duty in their relationship. So, yes, achieving so, or overcoming identity crisis, uh, it is a great ch challenge, but this challenge uh, can be actualized in a healthy way. The sixth stage Eric Erikson is talking about is adulthood, young adulthood period. This ad young adulthood period is a very uh, long period actually. It, is, it starts from age 18 to age 35 and in this stage uh, young adulthood period, people are becoming more independent from their parents, from their peers, from their teacher. They are their own. Uh, so people start to do business, start to have close relations with opposite sex, uh, so, uh, the most important thing in this period, people uh, must develop relations with other people. If people achieve to have intimate relations with each other, uh, they they satisfy their need for social contact, social interaction. But in this stage, if, children, uh, if human individual 
don't achieve healthy social relations, contact and interaction, they will face a sort of isolation, the rejection from other people. So, in this stage, I mean, in order to have social relations with other people, the young adulthood period includes a very basic strength, which is love. Uh, Erickson values love uh, too much for him. Love is the greatest human virtue. Uh, I mean, when you have intimate relations with other people through love, you are uh, you are experiencing a sort of sharing identity with each with each other. We are you are completing your identity with someone else's identity. Again, as we see, developing uh, a shared identity is uh, another important point which uh, Ericsson is focusing. And fifth stage is uh, adulthood period. Uh, this adulthood period covers age uh, between uh, age 35 and 55. Adulthood period, it is a stage of maturity. Uh, in this stage, people try to teach uh, next, gener next generation what they learn from their life. Uh, so, uh, children Sorry, human individual in adulthood period, according to uh, according to Eric Fromm, they must be very productive. If they are productive in business, if they are productive in education, in family, in social life, uh, life for them will be healthier. But if stag stagnate themselves, if they say whatever we are doing is futile, we are not going to do anything more, that means that uh, they are going to face a very uh, difficult situation. So in adulthood period, the basic strength individual has is care. So, care, it is about uh, being productive. As much as human individual produce, at the same time he should, he, produ he or she produce uh, whatever they are doing for other people they produce because they care about other people so uh, production producing or caring producing something or caring uh, for other people at the same time means to achieving one's identity so identity and productivity and caring cannot be isolated from each other. The final uh, stage which Eric Fromm is talking about is maturity and old age. Of course, old age is very difficult time. Uh, but Eric Fromm thinks that being old age 
does not mean just uh, does not mean just old people they must just think and look at the past they must do something more they must be active they must look at the future they must adopt new uh, uh, behavior new skills they must develop new skills Erikson believes that elderly people they must involve in life vital he talks about vital involvement in life in other so this is something vital the concept of vital involvement participating life actively in elderly years is very important if individual elderly people doesn't satisfy about their uh, previous years about their experiences about their lives uh, so they could develop the state of despair state of hopelessness but if they think that I have a life with success, with happiness, with health, and with production. So they could develop uh, the sense of ego integrity. And of course, in elderly age, the basic strength is wisdom. Because elderly people, they are experienced people, they have knowledge, they have skills, they have potential capacity, which comes from their long uh, time experiences. So they could uh, teach their experiences to next uh, generation so when we look at uh, theory of Eric Erikson and when we look at this eight cycle social stages we see that Erikson imagine human personality in an optimistic manner, yes, he said, in every stage, human individual is facing a crisis, a challenge, but he is also optimist about that uh, human individual has enough capacity to overcome this crisis, to go beyond uh, this crisis, uh, and What is interesting about Erikson is he is always hopeful. He said that, yes, human individual can develop himself or herself uh, in a more progressive way. And consciousness is important. Erikson focused on consciousness he doesn't uh, talks about too much unconscious influences or unconscious power uh, what is really striking about Erikson he said that human individual is the production of learning and experience rather than hereditary 
factors. So our goal in life must be to learn and experience new ways, new ideas, new things, new tasks in order to achieve our ego identity in order to use our basic strengths productively and fruitfully. So the most important let learn for life, let experience life courageously and productively. Thank you very much.